So you were a pioneer with reaching totally. out with youth, at, yeah. youth outreach. When I think of Delroy Lindo, you, mm -hmm. you know of Delroy yeah, Lindo? Of course. He, yeah, yeah. He's one of the great actors in yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, and um, I thought, oh. And you played a part yes. in his growth That's as right. an artist. That's right. Without that, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, and, there, and in particular, I think within the, the, the community of, of, of people of color, there are people that need to be reached out to mm -hmm. or needed to at, at that time. And, and, yeah. and it's unfortunate the councils didn't. No, they didn't pick up on that at all, uh, and um, they, they did not, they were not sensitive to what we were doing. Mm. Because you see, very few other companies in the, in, in, in the district w were, were doing what we were doing. Mm -hmm. They were not sort of, their object, objective was not that. Yeah. And um, so, so we, well, we just continued, you know, we had conferences. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we had workshops and we had um, encouraged people to write plays, so we had playwright mm -hmm. competitions wow. and we sent out newsletters and, and you know, we, we, we teach the kids um, drama and stuff mm -hmm. like that and then we went into schools, mm -hmm. toward thousands of schools, wow. hundreds of thousands of kids, you know, saw for the first time mm -hmm. um, something that they can relate to, yeah. yes. And there are other people that worked with you. There's Arlene Duncan, Mark mm -hmm. Ishmael, Leon Bibb, Jackie Richardson, mm -hmm. Michael Danso, Joe Seeley. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some of these names mispronounced. Uh, Cecile Frenette? Cecile Frenette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was, she was in, she played um, in One More Stop on the Freedom Train. Right. Yeah, right. she was a great, um, great, great performer, mm -hmm. yes. Tom Butler. Phil Aiken. Phil Aiken. He's done a few things since <laughs> mm -hmm. then, but you know, he's very talented. Dennis yeah. Simpson, wonderful Dennis Phil Simpson. was very good in Schools Out. Oh, really? Yeah, one of Trevor Rohn's um, production. Mm -hmm. okay. Trevor Rohn brought Schools Out, mm -hmm. uh, directed Schools Out. It was a production that, um, a very, very good production. Mm -hmm. um, Phil Aiken played in that. Mm -hmm. What did he play, do you remember? Um, well, schools always were this teacher. I think Phil, Phil got the part of being the new guy who think he can change things. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Phil. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Phil yeah. could totally play that right. role. I think he's playing that role in life right now. Oh, amen. <laughs> Dennis Simpson, uh, Jim mm -hmm. Plaxton, Diane Braithwaite, Jeff Jones, mm -hmm. Linda Armstrong, Amarita mm -hmm. Amarencia. Mm -hmm. There are so many people who, mm -hmm. who you worked with and, and, and came through the theater. Yeah. And um, and also grew and, and made the theater grow. Yes, yes. Um, the one more stop on the Freedom Train with Leon Bibb. Mm -hmm. Leon came from Vancouver, wrote wrote the play. Mm -hmm. It was a sort of a gospel cantata, as he would call it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, but it was such an important production because. It happened in 1984, right? And mm -hmm. at that time, um, Canada and Ontario was celebrating their sesquicentennial year right. and the bicentennial year. Right. So it was a very appropriate production to do, yeah. you know, because it talked about the Underground Railroad, people coming up through the Underground Railroad from the United States as refugees and, and, and as, you know, running away, and, um, but became part of the f very fabric of, of de 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 you know, sort of developing mm -hmm. of Canada, yeah. you know, working That's on the railroads and, and, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So it was a very important production to produce that year. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And there was also a very important production that was done um, uh, based on a Lorraine, Lorraine Hansberry Yes, um, a raisin in the sun. A raisin in the sun. It's been done. Jackie Richardson was uh, was the mama. Mm -hmm. uh, Arlene Duncan was in that. That must have been the first production in Ontario, if not Canada. That must have been of raisin in the sun. Yeah, no, it had never been done. Never been touched by any other theater company. No. An amazing product show. An amazing, an amazing script. Amazing production. But uh, yeah. uh, tell me about that. Tell me about getting getting the rights to it and. Uh, it, it wasn't hard because um, we we got um, through equity. We, mm -hmm. we got um, the rights for it, mm -hmm. and and we, we we got some very good 
people to, to, to act in it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Jackie Richardson. Yeah, Jackie, Jackie Richardson, mm -hmm. um, Arlene, and there were a few others that um, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. I, no, know. I know exactly. I should have yeah. actually yes. got the, uh, um, the cast list from the internet. Bobby Gassays came up to, to direct it. Mm -hmm. Bobby Gassays is, is, is from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. He was very familiar with the production, mm -hmm. and he and he came just to do that. We didn't have a theatre space. Again, we, we had to search and search and search, and and we went to Adelaide Street Theatre, which which was a small theatre down on Young Street. Yeah, where was it? It was on Young Street. On Young Street. Upstairs. It, it was just be, be below Richmond. Okay. Just below Richmond and Young. I didn't know there was a yes. there. So somewhere mm -hmm. in there, there's a big theater. Yes. And, and we rented big. that. Wow. <laughs> That's where it was done. I'm telling you, we, we, the space was really crucial mm -hmm. in, in, in our um, operation because we always had to look and look and look. When we did a Caribbean Midsummer Night's Dream, mm -hmm. it was getting so critical we couldn't find a space. I remember praying <laughs> and asking God to find me a space. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went to a meeting, and um, there was a young lady at that meeting performing, mm -hmm. and I, I went to talk to her afterwards. And she said she just finished doing her scene because she was a one, uh, one person act um, at, at um, an auditorium at the mental institution, 999 Queen Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And I said, yeah, is there an auditorium there? She says, yes, there's a beautiful auditorium there. Oh. I said, oh, because in, in the building they, they had this very nice round part, new part on, on the side of the, mm -hmm. the building. And she says, that, that's the auditorium. And she says, you know, I got it almost for nothing. She said, all you had to do was to do one performance just for the inmates. Right, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> or, or the staff. Yeah. It was really the staff. Yeah. She said, if you want a number, I can give it to you. And I took the number. And is that where you did it? That's where I had to do Caribbean Midsummer Night's Dream. Wow. And it was a well-respected production. It was very, yeah, very well done. Mm -hmm. But it also helped to, uh, it to helped. get you a, I believe you received a Dora Award? Yes, we received um, for artistic the Dora Mavermore Award for, for Innovation and Artistic Excellence. That's right. So it, it, was, it was indeed um, a very good production. Mm -hmm. And it also was a groundbreaking show in terms of non-traditional casting as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We had a mixed cast uh, mm -hmm. and, and it worked quite well, but, mm -hmm. but the whole gist of it, the whole um, designing and so on, um, costume and um, uh, all, all the, the nuances were, mm -hmm. were Caribbean. We, we took the, the, the sort of cultural Mm -hmm. You know, uh, things uh, in 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 the sword fighting or, or whatever they they instead they would use stick fighting, right. you know, right. which is a Caribbean thing, right. and that sort of thing. So um, it was well received. Mm -hmm. It was well received. And you also worked with developing new writers, and Layers mm -hmm. was a, a show that was Layers. Yes, um, Ralph Campbell. Um, was uh, wrote and, and directed that, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it was sort of, it, w it was a more based on showing how the, the, the journey mm -hmm. of, of the black person, mm -hmm. you know, that, that comes from, say, slavery and what, what happened in the crossing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the, the, the sort of um, what he has to go through mm -hmm. um, from time to time to time mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in his development as being to be accepted, you know, as a intelligent black man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yes. Now, you, uh, of course, you know, throughout your life, 
you've proven yourself to be outspoken and courageous and compassionate and a pioneer, but you must also get, it must be hard, it must be tiring. It was very tiring. Mm. Um, when you're doing what you're called to do, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, you don't realize all the time your strengths. Mm. And it's not your strength. You see, I've come to learn, mm. looking back, I've come to learn that, that really God is a good God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I don't hold back that statement that at certain times people were afraid to talk about their relationship with God. Mm -hmm. But I have come to, to, to say I will never put God on the back burner as if he doesn't exist. He exists for me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's his strength that I drew upon. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember going to bed most nights at 3 a.m. Right. Mm -hmm. And then to be back in the office somewhere around 9. Mm -hmm. It, it, was, it was really hard. Mm -hmm. It was very, very hard. And the only way you can do that is, is by some form of, of strength, mm -hmm. you know. We had, didn't have health food at the time. <laughs> 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 Vitamins like were limited. Yeah. Yes. 